This tutorial is about high-pass filtering of luminance data. High-pass filtering is a method to bring out detail on a very localized level. You essentially paint in the detail where you want it, and you leave other areas alone that you don't want to have sharpened, such as stars, for example. We're going to do this in two different levels. One is a fine high-pass filtering level. That will work on things like tendrils and dust lanes, or H2 regions, or finer areas in galaxies where you want to bring out small detail. We will follow that up by coarse high-pass filtering that will bring out larger scale data, such as spiral arms and galaxies, to give them more of a 3D effect. And the way you start this is you have your base image, this is the luminance data, and you make a duplicate layer of that data. So you have two layers there. And on the duplicated layer, you'll go into Other, under the Filter menu, Other, High Pass. And for the fine high pass filter, you'll use a number like 8 pixels, and you'll click OK. You will change the blending mode from Normal to Overlay. What you end up with is an image where everything, including all the stars and all the detail, is high-pass filtered at this 8-pixel fine level. You don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is add a layer mask. So you go under Layers, Layer Mask, Hide All, click OK, and you will see a dark or a black box appear here. And you notice that the detail that we just got has disappeared. We've essentially masked it out. Then what you do is you click this double arrow here to make sure that the white box here is on top. And you'll be using the paintbrush here. And you can size it using the left or the right bracket keys. These are to the right of the P key on your keyboard to make this paintbrush larger or smaller. And then what you end up doing is painting in just the areas like these dust lanes or the H2 regions that you want sharpened up. It's like giving a scalpel to a surgeon on a very fine level so that you can sharpen up just what you want to sharpen up and let that sharpened area bleed through the image, leaving everything else alone, including the stars and the larger structure. And when you do that and you paint through these areas, you can begin to see what we had initially before we put the layer mask on. You can see it right here. We've kind of painted in this area. If you zoomed in very, very closely, you wouldn't be a circle here. It'd be a series of lines that cover these H2 regions, that cover these dust lanes. Now we've got the high pass filter in the fine mode working to bring out fine detail. If you go back and forth here, you can see what I'm talking about. See how much sharpened it is here relative to turning off by clicking on the eyeball here. By turning it off, it's a wonderful way of getting high pass filtering done on localized areas to bring out structure. Now we're going to deal with the core structure. We're going to repeat the same thing, except we're going to use a much larger pixel number in the high-pass filter. This is what we had before, the high-pass filter with a pixel value of 8. We've turned that off. We've gone to the base layer and we duplicated it, so now we have a brand new layer here. And this is where we're going to apply the coarse high-pass filter. Just like before, you go under Filter, Other, High-Pass. This time we're going to use a number like 40 or 42. You can see when we do this, you're looking at more coarse features of, of the structure. In this case, you're looking at the spiral arms of the galaxy. And you click OK. For the coarse high pass filter, I like to use the soft light blending mode. Like before, we're going to create a hide all layer mask by going to layers, hide all, and you're going to get the black box here, and you're going to paint the larger paintbrush the spiral arms, like so, here, 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 and here. You can see that's what we've done there. Now we have more structure, more core structure with the spiral arms kind of popping out to give it more of a 3D look. We haven't turned on the fine structure yet. Let's take a look at what our core structure did. That's no coarse high pass filtering. That's coarse high pass filtering. Then we can get the best of everything by turning all the layers on. So now we've got the sharpened up dust lanes. We've got the 3D feeling by sharpening up the core structure like the spiral arms. You can select each one of these adjustment layers and apply maybe a 2 pixel or a 5 pixel Gaussian blur so that the edges of your filtering aren't that sharp. But anyway, you'll end up with a coarse and a fine high pass filtering layer, coarse in the soft light mode, fine in the overlay mode, and when you're done you can compress them all into one layer and now you've sharpened your luminance layer.